Welcome back, and it's time to talk about one of my most favorite restaurants, Cafe Rio. And we've got Ben Craner and Kate Cardell here in studio with me. Thanks so much for coming in. Right. And big news for them this week. You guys basically picked up what would be an equivalent to an Oscar in the restaurant business. So congratulations, you guys. Thank you. It's a, it's a huge deal for us. We're, we're, we're honored by it. By Huge deal. Sure. And we're talking they went up. You, I noticed that you went up against people like in and out Burger. I, a lot of people will be like, oh, hands down. You know, you, and you're only in how many states? We're That's in six crazy. states right now. We only have 39 restaurants. So That's we're kind nice. of we're kind of the little guy coming in and, yeah. uh, and taking this thing by storm. We're excited. It's no surprise, though. I mean, they're a quick restaurant that delivers you incredible food. This is the uh, fancy award they picked up. Right. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I was just telling you guys how obsessed I am with it that I know most, if not all, <laughs> of the employees at Cafe Rio go in there, talk to them by name. Of course, they always try to talk to me in Spanish. They somehow think that I'm going to pick up Spanish by <laughs> my frequent visits to the restaurant, but it hasn't worked yet. So sure. let's start. Why don't you guys tell us a little bit about the restaurant and the style? Sure. I think the biggest thing that separates Cafe Rio from the average restaurant is we make everything fresh from scratch using whole ingredients every day. There aren't any freezers or microwaves in any of our restaurants. Um, we just put in a lot of hard work. It's really simple, actually. You just have to work hard and produce amazing food. And the tortillas are made fresh for you and in front of you every single day. Um, and I think one of the biggest things is when I actually had the opportunity to go and film at Cafe Rio, they let me get behind the counter and make the food. <laughs> and Bob Nilsson, a sure. CFO, he was so um, strict on being clean and making sure your hands were washed properly. And when I'm there eating, I'm amazed at how many times I see them constantly mopping the floor cleaning around underneath the tables where a lot of restaurants you'd see dust build up and I mean you guys really take pride in your restaurant we, we really do yeah we, t we run a pretty tight ship mm -hmm. it, it's it's important to us you know food is one thing safety is another and w we go above and beyond mm -hmm. and Kate exciting news you guys are opening up in DC and Virginia so you're gonna break into the eastern yes, portion of the are. United States this summer starting April we're gonna go into Maryland and Virginia so my question is, when is the one in New York City opening up that I can go manage? <laughs> we'll give you a Hopefully call. Hopefully soon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll that's fight over that I'm, one. <laughs> that's what I'm wanting. Um, some of your hot items on the menu are what? Uh, the pork burrito is a huge one for us. The uh, pork salad. Our pork is, um, it's Incredible. won several awards. Uh, everybody seems to like the pork. The uh, salad's a huge one. I'd say probably 50-50 with the pork. Yeah, with, yeah. With it's the, the best one to get. If you're going to go in, I actually do the tostada on a flour. Mm. I've oh, kind of yeah. got my system. I do the pork tostada on flour, no beans, everything on it, melted cheese. I mean, I've totally got my system. <laughs> um, you got great chips and salsa. You got the sauces to go with it. Sure. Your queso is yep. incredible. Oh, yes. Do, do I, I sound like I like your restaurant? I mean, I could just blab <laughs> for a really really like long restaurant. time. <laughs> you know the menu better than we do. I, oh, my, you guys, I'm not kidding you. I'm obsessed. And if I don't go in frequently enough, the guys ask me what's wrong and where I've been. They think I've, like, fallen off the planet. So <laughs> I go in quite often. Um, you guys just opened one up here in Park City. Correct. How long was it last year? Yeah, last year we opened Park City. We actually just opened our 20th store in Utah in Tooele. And... Uh, Man, we're running. We're going for it. Isn't it nuts that you guys only have 39 restaurants, and yet you're picking up this huge award competing against these chains that are all around the country and everybody knows about? And this is an award that people actually vote for, you guys. Right. It, yeah. Think of it as the People's Choice Award. We're kind of the small independent film that comes into the Oscar and takes everybody by storm. That's kind of how we were at the restaurant industry. We um, yeah, 39 restaurants competing with these big national players. and. Really, it's our customers, our loyal, crazy super fans that love us, that, that got us where we are. I would be one of those crazy <laughs> super fans. Did he just call me out? I think he did. Um, and one of the other things that's really nice about the Park City location is all the other cafe areas in Utah are closed on Sunday, except for Park City. That's right. That's so true. nice. That's right. So you can check it out. I've been known to drive all the way up to Park City. Have you? We've heard stories about people doing that. So. I've been known to go on Saturday <laughs> night before we go out, and then Sunday uh, there you go. after <laughs> we've woken up. So I've been known to do a few different crazy things. Uh, if you are wanting to check out Cafe Rio, it's in the New Park location. Right. Um, right there as you're driving in. You cannot miss it. And do you know, okay, so I've got this like gentleman who's looking off set and he's got this like puppy dog face on his look. He's just waiting <laughs> for the moment when I usher him in it's to say, you can come in and have some Trace Leches. So, Link Carlin, come on in, bring the forks <laughs> along. Let's, you guys, let's squeeze in. I was doing to kill my time. I was making <laughs> a impressive. little fork he's display. He's been dying of it. you got to squeeze in, Link. Go ahead, grab all, it's gonna, it's gonna grab all at the same time. Crazy. 
Uh-oh. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, thank you. you so, again, they've got everything there. Great location. Uh, go for the fun shot? atmosphere. I mean, it's very yes. lively. Yeah, it has, definitely has a high energy. You, you can go. I was just asking. Are you, first of all, I told him this is my favorite cake. You got a Trace Lunch Escape right, right here in the front. <gasps> oh, good save. Link. <laughs> You pulled it off. Oh, that was good. Oh <laughs> wow. Uh, trace Trace Leches. My life well, um, is Describe a Trace Leches cake. Trace Leches is a cake that has three milks. Uh, it's kind of AKA soaks in it. That's right. <laughs> soaks in it. Um, and then we obviously put whipped so cream and strawberries so on top. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty, it's pretty delicious. simple, but yeah. amazing. Oh, it's and fantastic. <laughs> I'm going for it, actually. Uh oh, we all took a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Go check out Cafe Rio. It's good. Congratulations again, you guys, for the award. Thank you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go to break. We'll be right back with your trivia answer right after this. Mm -hmm. mm, that was so 